I like girl talk. I've always been the type where I never really had guy friends. I don't really have much in common with guys. I just don't. It is what it is. I always hung out with girls. So we always had something to talk about. I'm into talking about drama, the gossip. Uh, this is why I had this kind of channel. I like to talk. I like to think. I like to be challenged. I like to challenge others. Try something a little bit different today. We're gonna actually watch a video clip from a TV show called The Real. I know y'all have heard of it, you have to. If you're a minority, a woman especially, you must know about this show. So they went ahead and uploaded a video called What's the Brokest Thing You've Done? And that caught my eye. It did, it caught my eye because you know we've all been there. Most of us, most of us have been there. Some of us have been fed with a silver spoon, but no judgment here. Most of us have struggled, and I especially. So I decided to watch this video, and I'm gonna watch it with all of you, so let's go ahead and watch this and see what they had to say on this topic. Everyone can relate to the struggle of not having enough money. You know those days where you're just trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Mm -hmm. And on a recent Reddit forum, user Gold Lattes wanted users to put their money where their mouth is, asking the question, what's the brokest thing you've ever done? Ooh. Everyone seemed to be able to relate to being broke as a joke, with one person admitting to making ketchup soup for dinner, to another who flat out admitted to stealing toilet paper from her job. So ladies, what is the I've done that. cheapest way you can serve your coin? Oh, the ways. <laughs> oh my God. So many, so many oh, ways. I know, I, I, I did many things, but one thing I still do today, how many of y'all, when you go to Starbucks or McDonald's, you get a little more napkins than you need and you suck up that <laughs> That's a fact. You put them in your, in your glove compartment hey. for sure. Well, I don't even have it. I never had a car. I don't have a car now. But um, growing up in New York City, Obviously, everybody takes the subway, but even at some point in my career, when I didn't have money like that, they would have red carpet events in New York City, and I literally would get on the train. At the time, I was um, staying in New Jersey. Sorry, I was like staying in New Jersey. So I would take the train into the city, yeah. and I literally would change my clothes for red carpets on the train. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And walk out and have a bag, hey. and I would put the bag by a payphone. And I would put stuff in there. I would come in stuff that if it went missing, it was fine. Yeah. But I wasn't comfortable, like flip-flops or... That sounds crazy, right? Like, yeah. I literally would have, like, flip-flops or, like, sweats and a, t and a tank top. And then I would have, like, the dress and the heels that I was going to wear for the red carpet. And I would put them in a bag. And I would change on the train. Yep. Put the clothing that I had on the flip-flops <laughs> and I would leave Please it, go. like, on the corner of the street. Like, somewhere where nobody would move it or touch it. Yeah. And if I went back and it was still there, boom, I had my flip-flops. And if <laughs> I didn't, it was okay. Yeah. But people wouldn't know that I was coming, like, with no yeah. car service. Yeah. there ever And a I would come around the corner and literally be like this, like... <laughs> <laughs> like it never happened. Oh, my stuff. Like, like it never happened. In the corner of the street because I... You can't run up and down the steps or running for a train in heels. That was... But, girl, that's not even a broke moment, though. That's not a broke moment. You live in New York, and you've said this before. You purposely don't have a car because you like public transportation. You don't like the traffic and all that stuff. So that ain't a broke moment. That's just a, that's just a different way of, of dealing with things, going around um, car service. Wasn't gonna work. Totally. So I have done some broke broke things in my life. Yes. And um, I, I think about those times, and I'm just so grateful. Every time you take like an Uber or you can afford a taxi in New York City, like I'm. Just so, so, so grateful. Yes. Yeah. You know, I remember that and I never... Okay, I spoke too early. I spoke too early. I guess that was a broke moment of hers. <laughs> my bad. Forget that. I'll tell my children those stories too. Yeah. I've been broke where I've been looking for money all through my house. You know, my younger days, I used to go, I'd be check all the cushions and check my pockets and stuff like that. I still do that to this day. I still do that. I never pass up any type of change. If, I, if there's a penny, a nickel, a dime, I pick that up. If, I feel like it's bad luck if you walk over money. And I have a shoebox that I put all my change in. That, mm -hmm. When I was younger, before that, um, I couldn't afford a prom dress, so I made my own prom dress. Oh, okay. hey! It was cheaper yeah. to do that, yeah. That's awesome. Um, that's and super I made dope. it at the home egg office because they yeah. had the sewing machine and all the yeah. fabric, so yeah, I, I stole that. Uh, <laughs> Like, no. In my early comedy days, when I couldn't afford, like, 
you know, I needed a ride and nobody could get me a ride, I would actually park. And then, you know, when I come back from my trip, you know how you get a ticket to get in? Yes. I would go and get a ticket so it would be less. So, like, if I was going so, to... So it looked like I was only there for a day instead of five really days. But for five days. Right. Oh. That's what I used to... Don't y'all do that. Do not do hey. that. They had you on camera now. Did you, <laughs> you guys go to jail. Have, did you guys have to, like... I know. Did you, <laughs> did you guys have to, like, wash out your Ziploc bags? Because back yeah. in the day, oh, yeah. like, the lunch, the plastic bags used to be so, shit. so expensive. Yeah. So we literally had to wash those out, kind of flip it and, yeah. make, you know, dry it. Yeah. And then also, I could remember growing up, all I wanted was a brand name cereal. Like, we couldn't afford, like, you a regular oh, Lucky Charms. Which was fine. They all... Cheerios. That's fine. They all taste the same. That's how we budget. They all taste the same. For breakfast, you guys, we, we used to have it rice. Was Eerios, huh? Eerios, something like that. Oh, oh. And then, for breakfast, we used to have rice and eggs. Because that's all my mom could afford for everybody to, to have breakfast. And then also... Us was rice and beans and cold hot dogs. I remember, I'll never, I actually have a, a scar from my, from my sister pulling out this tray where we used to have bread, cheese, and jelly for breakfast every single day. And one time my sister made it and she pulled it out and she kind of burned, you know, my arm right here. And people are like, oh my God, you know, what happened there? And I tell the story and they're like, well, you know, you can get that lasered off. No, I don't want that laser. Right. Off. That, that reminds me right. of a very humble beginning. Right. Yeah. A lot of people don't, they don't know that. Because we had a show at a very young age. Yeah. Good you food know? is some of the best food. Yeah. Hey, that's how the tuna punch challenge came up. I wasn't wasting my tuna fish. I had made some tuna fish. I spilled some punch in there. I was like, oh, we're just going to make this work. So let me tell you, okay, I come from a family of eight. We are a low income family. We grew up in the trailer park, okay? In a trailer. And, and if you want to know how our trailer park looked like, I have a music video that you can click onto right there. That's where I filmed my music video, in that trailer park. We grew up there in one trailer. I believe it was a two bedroom trailer. All eight, of, all eight of us. We would get donated clothing, toys, everything you can think of for Christmas. I remember our, um, our teachers from school would donate and I didn't even know we were poor, okay? That's how great of a childhood I had because my parents didn't make us feel that way. I found out I was poor when I went to school one day and my teacher asked me to come over to the desk. I come over to the desk and she gives me a black garbage bag full of clothing, okay? I literally had to drag this garbage bag full of clothes and walk over to my desk. And as I was walking over to my desk, I hear one of the students say, is she poor? I swear to God, that's what I heard her say. So till that, since that day, that's how I knew we were poor. But regardless of all that, I had an amazing, great childhood. But let me tell you what else, okay? We're not broke. We got money. We work really hard to get money. But let me tell you a situation like right now in this YouTube channel. I come up here, look presentable. I'm working. I had to look presentable. I had to look good for you guys, right? But let me tell you something, okay? I'm overdue for a haircut. Overdue. I always wait till last minute to get a haircut. Always. Because I have a family. So my number one priority is making sure that we have a roof over our head, water to drink, food to eat, blankets to cover us, to warm us up. That's what my priority is, okay? Not only that, let me tell y'all, I come presentable, but look at this, okay? Look at this, without me falling. Look at this. I'm in my PJs, y'all. I'm in my PJs. My sweats, okay? I'm in my sweats. All I had to do coming back from work is put on a shirt. I'm in my pajamas. I don't have the funds to pick up a whole bunch of wardrobe for this channel. I just don't. So I make shit work, right? I make things work. Not only that, hold on, I ain't done. Let me take, let me take off my damn shoe. Let me tell you what shoes I wear almost every day. This, this right here. I swear to God. <laughs> this right here, you see how, how dirty it is? This is for me cutting the grass, okay? These are the shoes that I wear. Now, I'm real, okay? I'm humble. I'm humble because of my beginnings in life and I appreciate everything that I work so hard for. And I know what I need to do for YouTube in order to get views, 
and in order to gain a following. I had to look presentable. It is what it is. I said any job, any job you go to, for any interview, first impression is everything. So you have to look presentable. But I'm honest and I'm real. So I'm not afraid to tell you guys all my little secrets, okay? All right, y'all, I hope you like this video. I'm out of breath. <laughs> okay, I need to join the gym, that's what I need to do. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notifications because Gizmo says so. Gizmo, tell him. Gizmo, look at, he needs a haircut too. He needs a haircut. And don't forget to subscribe to our Bliss and Pris channel. That's the channel that I have with my wife. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.